Hey there, and welcome to the Ultraman Connection Collectible Navi. Today we're going to check out the SCLA Ling Dong Ultraman Zero 10th Anniversary Statue. Alright, so I was actually in the search for the SH Figure Arts uh, Ultraman Zero Monkey King Armor, which was a China exclusive um, Tamashii Nation's um, Bandai product. And I just found this by accident. It, it was a really cool looking Ultraman Zero statue. And um, yeah, it's been, cannot believe it, it's been 10 years since Ultraman uh, Zero debuted in the 2009 movie Mega Monster Battle Ultra Galaxy. And when I, when I was looking at the, the photos, it looked really spectacular. And I've never heard of this company called SCLA uh, Ling Dong Productions. So I did some research and uh, as a matter of fact, this is officially licensed by Subaraya. And this is the 10th anniversary statue. Um, it was produced in 2019 and um, is a mainland China exclusive. And I believe this product was released in 2020. Uh, but you can still find it on uh, the very popular website uh, in China, which is equivalent to Amazon in the United States, called Taobao, T-A-O-B-A-O dot com. So that website is in uh, fully uh, ch uh, simplified Chinese. Um, and uh, yeah, this product was actually um, not too expensive. The price was only 378.24 RMB, which is roughly just like 60 US dollars. So, um, you know, the photos look good. The price seemed promising. And um, yeah, I figured give it a try. So I placed an order and uh, I'm so glad I did. Like, I mean, there was so many, like if you saw the, um, the, the, the stuff out of the box, there's so many accessories and that base, it lights up. And you even have this 10, Ultraman Zero 10th Anniversary plaque, um, you know, this metallic plaque, this is so cool. So, uh, and that base is pretty nice, um, you know, for, for the $60 range, I think, um, you know, with the light up and the button is well hidden. It's like that little uh, piece of rock right there. So very cool. All right. So Ultraman Zero is very, it's actually pretty solid here. So, um, had some trouble getting him on the base, but you use a hairdryer, um, and soften up the plastic. And I uh, want to do it on both sides of the, the feet to uh, make him be sturdy. So once, um, once his, uh, his feet are softened, we can place um, him onto those pegs. And you can display him with the plaque. So this is Ultraman Zero uh, without any accessories, just uh, himself. And here's the, um, let's get the light up. So isn't that cool? You can see like the fire kind of reflects on his body. Um, so let's spin him around, get a general idea of what he looks like. Here's the back, the side. So the pose is pretty neat. He's definitely in like an action pose, which I like. And, uh, you know, comes with the lance. So let's see. Uh, again, I think the plastic is pretty solid. So the hands, there's two points of articulation, which are uh, the both hands. You can spin it a little bit. Uh, so, But once you warm up the hand, then you can put the lance inside uh, so you can hold the lance. And um, yeah, I think it's uh, looking pretty awesome. So let's see, let's spin them around so you can get another look at them. Um, I'm I'm digging. So it actually, the fire actually looks a lot better on camera uh, for some reason. So uh, in person, it's not as uh, bright, um, but it does have a nice effect if you don't have too much light. Um, like if you try to keep the room a little darker and just have like the fire reflect on on them and let's when you put on when you do have a lot of light shine on it the um, the LEDs for the base isn't as strong but check out the accessories that's so cool I really like them and um, what else so um, here is the ultimate Aegis so very cool as magnet so nice and easily to um, uh, install onto Ultraman Zero's body again. The uh, I guess the sword part uh, is uh, needs to be heated up to be nice, squishy, soft, and then you can grab onto Ultraman Zero's uh, right arm and fits perfectly. 
he looks really neat so you can display in, in in different ways like you know maybe um this week you want him with the lands next week you want him with the ultimate aegis or maybe um you know another die just no no weapons just the uh, ultraman zero being uh, himself the cool badass uh, hero so spin it spin the uh, i guess like the blade around so you can kind of see the other side so here's the other point of articulation on the hand um, other than that he's he's really is a statue i mean this is called the 10th anniversary statue for a reason but i'm digging the uh, you know what he you know all the different accessories of the uh, light up base um, just magnificent for the price range and um, that plaque is so cool too it's just a nice touch all right let's do some uh, figure comparison so here's a six inch movie monster series um, Ult Shin Ultraman and here's an SH figure arts of Ultraman Zero this is also a 10th anniversary uh, release so they probably were um, they came out near the same time frame Oh, and the, the statue itself is 32, um, I think, 0.5 centimeters tall. So, 32 centimeters in inches would be about 12 and a half inches. All right, so let's bring out the Ban Presto. I think this was the um, Ichiban Kuji at one point. Um, I think this was way back in probably like the 2010 or 2011. Um, time frame. So this one I bought um, uh, second hand so he's been played with and has some paint rubs but um, yeah I think um, the difference is the blue is uh, much lighter on the statue and it's uh, deeper on the Van Presto um, but you do have that nasty seam on the uh, the waistline uh, but the cool thing about the Van Presto the arms move so you can kinda change up the pose a little bit all right, here comes the high-end Ultraman Zero by uh, X Plus, and uh, we can see this is a 25 centimeter in the uh, Daikai Ju series, and uh, this one uh, comes with two um, heads and and uh, like two two pairs of arms, so you can. I just have him uh, in this kind of um, pose with the uh, with his Zero Sluggers. So the other pose is he's doing his wide shot, but uh, yeah, this uh, you know X Plus definitely is uh, more suit accurate. I would say you get a lot of uh, the colors and a lot more wrinkles, but uh, he's smaller and more expensive. Uh, the base is very plain, just a clear stand. So uh, the Banpresto is a pretty large size. I think it's, uh, roughly the same or slightly bigger than the. Um, uh, Ling Dong uh, deluxe statue, but yeah, I think if you're looking just for a, a good, you know, a decent size, uh, big size statue, this is great because um, you know, good price and a lot of accessories, light up base. Uh, the the only zonk I have is he his eyes and the color timer don't light up. I wish they did. Yeah, this Ultraman Zero statue is very impressive for only sixty dollars. You get an awesome pose, an awesome sculpt of Ultraman Zero, pretty accurate I would say. And uh, check out all these different accessories and uh, even a light up base, that's so cool. And uh, not only that, even the packaging is pretty cool. Check out like the uh, hologram uh, style um, box there as well. So cool stuff, uh, can't wait to see what else uh, uh, SCLA Ling Dong Productions has in store for the Ultraman series. All right, so yeah, we have a lot more Ultraman Zero, as you see, uh, to cover. So uh, stay tuned for more on UltramanConnection.com. All right, till then, see you next time.